You know, when I speak publicly, I'm really not up there trying to tell people how to think or what to do. I used to be like that. But these days, what I'm trying to do, I suppose, is invite people into a conversation. My energy is curiosity and exploratory rather than didactic, uncertain and black or white. The old version of me that used to be more like that was like that because it appealed to my attachment to dogma or my need for certainty or my need to come across like I knew more than I did or my need to persuade people to think like me and live like me. <laughs> but I think these days I have evolved to become this sort of um, thinking out loud when I'm speaking person. I'm on this kind of journey of discovery and curiosity and fascination. And I'm doing that out loud in front of people, which may well result in takeaways that help people in their lives. But that's almost incidental and a byproduct of me wanting to be there as a human being that is in motion, that is under construction, as opposed to someone who's arrived. I suppose I'm saying that I want to be your guide, not your guru. <laughs> and I think the emerging generation in the shared thinking world that they live in on social media and the internet, I think they want more voices of guidance than gurus telling them what to do and how to live. I know that's what I want. Join me in New York, LA or Dublin at my next live event called Seven Levels of Authentic Communication when I want to talk much more about my behind the scenes thinking of how I approach communication.